Greetings, today I'm going to be showing you how to mount and play a DOS game through DOSBox. The first thing you're going to want to do is install DOSBox, of course. You can find it at this link, or you can just type uh, into Google DOSBox and it should come up. Um, so on DOSBox.com, you're going to go over to the Downloads tab here and to download whatever spe specific version you need, whether it be Windows or Mac, or just click the Download Now button. You're going to want to run the install and setup programs and stuff to get it running, and then we'll continue. Step two, you're going to make a folder of whatever file name in the C drive. So you're going to go, oh, I have videos open. So you're going to open the file explorer here, go into this PC, and into the computer C drive. It might be labeled as a different letter if you changed it, but by basics, it's usually the C drive. So you're going to open here, then anywhere you're just going to right click, click new, make a folder and name it whatever you want. For this video I made the folder and I'm going to use uh, DOS games. So you can use the same name if you want, just for simplicity's sake, or name it whatever you want, but use the same name that you create here for other things later. Inside you can see I have the War 2 files for Warcraft 2, which is the game I'm going to be using to demonstrate this tutorial. So after you've made the file, close that off, and now step three, insert disk of the game. I've done that already, so moving on. Step four, open DOSBox. You're gonna click the shortcut it creates or find it in computer files, and it'll open this program here. Step five, you're going to type this stuff exactly into the program. So what you're doing here is you're going to mount the C drive, the computer drive, and then mount the D drive where the disk is and then you're going to force it to run the setup files basically so just to clarify here when you go into this PC all computers might have a different letter assigned to the C drive and disk drive use whatever letters you have for yours these are just the basic ones that I also have C and D so you're going to go into the DOS box and type mount C space C colon backslash and then the name of the file you created in the C drive. For me, it would be DOS games, and for you, if you did the same file name. Drive C is mounted as local directory, so that's good. It means successful. Then you're going to type mount D space D um, colon backslash space dash T space CD ROM. And then enter. It might take a second, you'll hear the disk tray uh, load up maybe and it'll say drive D is mounted as CD-ROM. Okay, then you're going to switch over to the D drive because you can see it's in Z drive here. So you're going to type D and then colon, enter. And then you're going to click type setup. It might take a second and then it will load the setup installation of the game that's uh, in there. It might be something other than setup, but if you need to check in case something isn't working, what you can do is go to your D drive, right click it, click open and then you can see what it's doing here is forcing it to run this setup execution file that usually wouldn't work so just because most computers are probably running at 64 bit while most DOS games are 16 bit I believe so yeah it's likely setup if it's not you can open this up and look for it see what it's called you just run these continue things and download the game to wherever you want um, and then you can probably play the game right from there. It should work at this point. However, the next steps are to make it so the next time you go to launch the game, you don't have to do all this mounting over again, which can get quite repetitive just to play one game over again. So what you're going to do here from step 7 is right-click DOSBox and click Open File Location. So you just find the shortcut here and click Open File Location. So now in step 8, open DOSBox... 0.74. This may change depending on what version of DOSBox you're using, but open that, the options.bat, and scroll to the bottom. It's likely above the DOSBox execution file, just this one right here. Open that, scroll to the bottom here, and now you're going to add the lines under, you can put your mount lines here, and you're just going to put these lines here. So I'm going to copy those. You can find these in the description, or you can type them out yourself. Make sure you change the file name to whatever you created the file name as. DOS Games is what I did it. So then you're going to click Save and close this. This next step is optional. You can oh, you don't always have to do it, but it depends on what game you're using. So what I'm going to do is open the File Explorer. 
this PC computer and then open the folder and it should have all the games that you downloaded and installed in here. For me it was Warcraft 2. So now whatever game it is you want to play you just need to know the name of this file. For me it's War 2 so that's what I'm going to be using. The next step is to open DOSBox and type uh, CD and then the name of the folder, so War 2. Um, you can see in here what it's done now is these uh, lines you've added here have just been mounted previously from opening because you added them into the text of DOS box. So now every time you want to go play the game, you don't have to retype all of this. So now you're going to type CD War 2. You can see it opens the file in here for the uh, game. And then you're going to type War 2 dot exe or whatever the game is you're playing. This is opening the execution file for the game so that you can play it obviously. Give it a second and there you go. As you can see the game now runs perfectly fine. What you may notice is that it opens in this small little window. A helpful t hint is that you can click alt enter on your keyboard to full screen DOS games. So and this is how you play DOS games on Windows 7, 8, and 10. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.